I am again here with a new video and the topic is chromatography. So what is chromatography? Chromatography is a method used to separate different kind of chemicals from a mixture. So it is totally different from centrifugation. Centrifugation is a different technique and chromatography is totally a different technique. It can be used to separate proteins, antigens, antibodies, serum. Now we will study the basic uh, basics of chromatography. Okay, the basics of chromatography. Be chromatography basically is depends upon two phases. That is stationary phase and the second one is mobile phase. This is just a concept. This is, let us consider this is stationary phase. And this is mobile phase. Mobile phase can move from one place to another in column and the stationary phase is stationary in nature. This stationary phase is solid while mobile phase is liquid or gas. Liquid or gas. The example of solid, uh, stationary phase of solid is agarose gel. It can be agarose gel based on type of chromatography and mobile phase it can be protein mixture in liquid form protein mixture in liquid form now stationary phase and mobile phase there are two phases in a single chromatography in every type of chromatography we have a stationary phase and mobile phase there is an interaction between mobile phase and stationary phase this interaction between stationary phase and mobile phase results into separation of chemicals by chromatography. Now, let's take an example of this base. Okay, take an example of separation of estrogen from a protein mixture. As we know, we have two phases that first one is stationary phase and the second one is a mobile phase. And there is an interaction between stationary phase and mobile phase. Now, we have to separate histidine from a protein mixture. So, consider we have a column or we have a setup through which we have to separate histidine from a protein mixture. This is a funnel. We plated or we coated a agarose gel on the walls of this funnel. This is agarose gel. agarose gel as i already told you agarose gel is to be considered as stationary phase it is an example of stationary phase agarose gel is placed here is coated here it is an example of stationary phase and mobile phase is in liquid form so agarose gel we have to separate histidine from a protein mixture let consider this is a protein mixture protein mixture it contains histidine as we know histidine shows the affinity towards nickel or cobalt so we put nickel or cobalt molecules we bind nickel or cobalt molecules here in agarose gel nickel or cobalt molecules in agarose gel now we have a stationary phase now this mobile phase or this mixture should get poured into this funnel. When this mixture is poured into this uh, in this funnel, the molecules of this mixture, the molecules of histidine molecule uh, shows affinity towards nickel or cobalt. Rest of the other particles flows out, but the molecules of histidine binds to nickel or cobalt histidine molecules binds to nickel or cobalt and rest of the other particles comes out so we can separate the histidine from this method and this is an example of how a stationary phase and mobile phase works together now 
types of chromatography on the basis of stationary phase and mobile phase we are in the basis of uh, the type of mixture we have different type of kinds of chromatography that is colon chromatography ion exchange chromatography gel permeation it is also known as gel exclusion chromatography or molecular exclusion chromatography that is then again affinity chromatography paper chromatography thin layer chromatography and gas chromatography we will discuss them each one of them later and now we will discuss the applications of chromatography okay some applications of chromatography chromatography it can be used for quality analysis in food and dairy industries for uh, quality purpose for quality analysis of food and dairy industries used in dna fingerprinting dna fingerprinting may be used ki jati hai and in bioinformatics it is also used to separate proteins proteins antibodies antigens from a mixture and uh, it is a widely used method uh, basically widely used method in industries nowadays later we will discuss the different kinds of chromatography that is thin layer chromatography column chromatography gas chromatography etc thank you okay friends like share and subscribe for more videos